Alright guys, Chris, Black Rifle Survival, back again with another unboxing. But before we get to that, wanted to make a shout out here to the Tops Knife Users group that I'm a member of. Lots of cool people that are on here. If you like Tops Knives and you have a Facebook account, go ahead and join up. Join the conversation, post pictures of your Tops Knives and uh, get in on the action. It's a lot of fun. But uh, speaking of the group, Michael is a member there. He sent me a knife. I bought this from him a couple days ago and he got it to me right away. I've actually gotten a few other Tops knives from him that I've done unboxings for in the past. But here is a knife, the Silent Hero. And uh, I've wanted this one for a long time. Never pulled the trigger on it. Finally have it. Leather sheath. Wrapped in extreme black duct tape. So this is going to be an interesting package to open, Michael, once again. Um, hopefully I don't cut the leather. But a uh, solid post office can't get into this. Uh, if they did, I'd know. But uh, yeah, this arrived in one piece and safe and sound. So let's go ahead and slice this open and uh, show you the new Silent Hero. It's been out for a while, but uh, new to me. And I'll give you my initial thoughts and impressions on it. I have a feeling this is wrapped in cardboard first. But I can't really, without giving the address away. I think that's where the cardboard bends on the top. And uh, this is a lot of duct tape. Oh, that's going to be fun. It's going to take me a while, guys. I'm going to see if I can get into this one. Oh, oh I got cardboard. Got cardboard. We're safe, guys. Yeah, you didn't want anybody to tamper with this, did you, Michael? <laughs> Alright, so I managed to figure out what's what, so I'll go ahead and continue making the cut down. Split this one open. We'll see how much of this I need to edit. I mean, hey, this is all just duct tape. Still going at it. I got it. All right, so we managed to finally get to the inside contents here. Pull this knife out. Got it. Make sure that's everything. Alright. Top Silent Hero. My first time seeing it. Very cool. So, top slather sheath with, uh, looks like for some lanyard if you want to lash that to your leg. I usually don't. I don't really see a purpose for it. A uh, nice big belt loop here for a larger belt. Already the knife is pretty thin I can tell which is cool. Snap retention. It's just like my wild pig hunter. There it is. Hopefully this is going to come up on the camera alright for you guys. Silent Hero. What number is this one? This is 884. You can really check that the heat treat right on the edge where it's all dark. That's pretty cool. So that tells you where they did the heat treating on it. Now, uh, right off the bat, it's uh, pretty thin. It reminds me of I got my cat down below here. Um, God, which knife? Which knife? Obviously, the Rocky Mountain treads. That's where I'm trying to pull it off from, but another thinner one. It's like the Dragonfly, kind of. A little bit of a thinner handle. Nice uh, jimping. Two different styles here. You've got a thumb ramp that's rising, and then a drop also. So what do I think about the Top Silent Hero? First and initial impressions. I think it's an awesome knife. Very slender handle. Um, I think it's a quarter inch thick, maybe three sixteenths. A little thinner than quarter inch. Um, definitely tapers though. Um, the heat treat lines, you can see that's very similar to the Topps Tahoma uh, TFK, Tahoma Field Knife. Um, 
That's what this one kind of reminds me of is a smaller version of that without the candid uh, handle with that negative angle look to it. Um, as far as chopping, it does have a little bit here in the handle that you could choke back on. Um, I don't think your hand would slip too much, but um, right off the bat, just holding it, having your jimping here on the thumb ramp, and then also the one that kind of goes down. So for the choke up position, you can grip the top here. That's really comfortable for me. Not so much back here on the back thumb ramp. So definitely for the choke up, that works nice. Uh, this finger guard here is pronounced, so that will definitely keep your hand from sliding up on the blade. But I don't see that as a problem. Freaking awesome knife. Color looks good. Rocky Mountain Tread. Awesome red liners. So, I always like that. Adds a bit of pop to the handle. Gives that knife a nice look. Uh, my card of handle skills, I think I said that. Um, the balance point is pretty much right where that choil is, or the finger guard. Just depends on how I want to hold it, but I'll have a review, a full review coming up. I don't know when, sometime in the future though, I do have a big backlog of knives that I need to go through. And uh, when I can find the time to do those, usually I'll get out to the woods and try to do those videos. But uh, it's been kind of tough with work, honestly. And uh, I do have another no Tops knife for the collection now. So thank you, Michael, for sending this to me. I know this was your prized possession. And uh, I will take good care of it. I'll put it through a thorough review on the channel. And uh, give you guys my honest opinion on how this Top Silent Hero performs for camp tasks, uh, bushcrafting skills, survival stuff. And uh, I like it. It feels good. It really does. This is a nice knife. Very cool. The spine on this one seems a little bit sharper than some of the other ones, so I don't know how it'll strike a ferro. But uh, we can test that. Like I said, field reviews. We'll definitely be putting this through the paces as well as the other top snipes. Let's see. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Got an awesome new knife. Get a little bit of bragging rights going on now, because it's the top silent hero. It's a fan favorite. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Appreciate you sending me out this uh, awesome silent hero. I'll be adding it to the collection, and uh, definitely one of my new war swords here. So, go ahead and put this bad boy back in the sheath. And until the next time, this is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys real soon. Take care.